Hi, I'm Andrew, a project manager here at Deutsche Beverage. Today I'm going to show you how to change a pump seal on a UE pump. So, reasons why you would need to change a pump seal. Some funny noise coming from the pump, some leaking coming from the pump, or maybe some performance issues. We've all had that. Okay, so, what do we need to do before we change the seal? We need to disconnect power from the pump. That's number one. We need to make sure we open any inline disconnects or the breaker at the panel, or both. <sighs> Number two, we need to drain the lines going to the pump as best we can. All right, so some tools and equipment that you're going to need to actually change the seal. For this specific model, a one and a half kilowatt model, you'll need a 14 millimeter wrench or ratchet. Now, if you have a larger pump, you may need a 15 or a 16 millimeter wrench or ratchet. You need two screwdrivers, a large one to lock the shaft, and a small one to help remove the pump seals. Your pump seal kit, some food grade grease, loop things up real nice. Some safety gloves, gotta protect the money makers. And of course, let's all remember, safety first. Okay, so to remove the housing of the pump, what we need to do is take our 13 millimeter socket with ratchet and loosen these, these four bolts. Now we're gonna loosen only the bolts on the outer rim. So go ahead and remove all four of them. As you can see here, here's the pump cover housing. That's what the inside looks like. Okay, and this is what the inside of the pump looks like. So, what you want to do, again, the 14 millimeter wrench, you want to put it over the nut, as such. Again, turning counterclockwise. Now, if this is stuck, what you want to do is you want to take your screwdriver, put it in to the pump by the Y, and you want to lock it underneath the bolts inside of the collar housing that disables the pump from turning. Put your wrench on the nut, and again, turn to the left. Once you crack it, it should come fairly easily out. As such, this is what the nut looks like. The impeller is actually threaded onto the shaft, so you want to do the same thing with your screwdriver. So again, put your screwdriver. Okay, as you can see, we have the impeller here. Now, let's take a look at the backside. That is part of the pump seal. So to remove that, again, take your screwdriver, gently place it in the crevice as such, and gently pry it out of there. Don't force it, just let it come out. As you can see, that is the pump seal. And that is the internal, uh, sorry, the backside of the pump, or the impeller. Now, you're going to take your small screwdriver, gently place it in the crevice between the back seal and the metal portion of the pump. And again, just gently pry it out, making sure not to hurt anything. This is what your pump seal kit will look like. Let's go ahead and open it up. Once you take the plastic off, three pieces will come. We're going to take our new seal that we just took out of the package. Again, there's two parts, the front seal and the back seal. Make sure to use the back seal for this part. As you can see here, this is the rear pump seal, and there are crevices that are carved out of the pump seal itself. Let's go ahead and place it back in, again being conscious to put the notches over the little metal pegs inside the cavity. Same thing goes for the front seal. So you take your impeller, and again, be conscious of the notch in, on the back side of this seal. And there's a little metal notch on the inside, the, sorry, the back side of the impeller. Make sure they line up. So now that we have the seal in here, make sure it's nice and flush with the impeller, and we're gonna go ahead and get it threaded on, get it started by hand, and then we're going to insert the screw. So the shaft should easily turn by hand, very little pressure involved. If it's any more than that, maybe your seal is installed incorrectly. 
All right, now take that nut that we removed earlier, and we're going to reinstall it by turning it clockwise to the right. When you get it, finger tight, you want to put the screwdriver in and give it a good snug. All right, so she's nice and tight now. Now, the easy part, the last step. You're going to take your pump hat. You're going to put it on. Not any old way, the way you got it off. Again, there's four bolts back here. Make sure they line up with the holes. Insert the pump housing and reinstall your nuts. That's it. That's how you replace a pump seal on a UE pump. Let's go have a beer.